Hello. My name is Julia Lisa Ray. I'm the department chair for the English department at Communications and Humanities Division at Thomas Nelson Community College. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Associate of Arts degree in Liberal Arts. I want to tell you about this degree because it is an excellent way to start your career, whatever career field that you choose. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that degree and what you need to do to accomplish it. The Associate in Arts degree in Liberal Arts is designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree. Um, that particular, uh, no, sorry, okay, starting over. Uh, the Associate in Arts degree in Liberal Arts is, first of all, designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree. It helps you complete your general education requirements for many different types of bachelor's degrees. It also seeks to develop in students an appreciation of many areas of knowledge and to lay the foundation for students to become lifelong learners. The types of courses that you take for this degree cover a wide range of, of uh, areas and topics, especially in the humanities, and create a sense of value for the types of ideas you'll be learning. The Associate in Arts degree also emphasizes communication, analytical, computational, and critical thinking skills. It provides versatility for students in a global job market. Because you will have had such a wide array of topics covered, uh, you will also be very attractive in the job field. Graduates in this degree can become teachers, librarians, journalists, foreign service officers, doctors, lawyers, amongst many other professions. The course requirements for this degree begin when the student comes to college and takes the placement exam. That placement exam may require the student to take a variety of courses in pre-college those include reading, writing, and math requirements. Should you take the placement exam and require those pre-college courses, understand that those courses exist to make sure that when you get to your college credit level courses that you'll do well and that you'll be able to continue on having made good grades in those classes. Once you have either placed out of those pre-college courses or taken them and passed them, students in this field will be required to take 64 hours of courses. The first of those is an orientation course. It is one hour and it's best taken your first semester since it will assist you in all other areas of your college life. You'll take two composition and rhetoric courses, composition one and composition two. You'll have a variety of literature survey courses to take. Um, you can choose from American literature, English literature, world literature, African American literature, or women's literature. You'll also be asked to take six hours of humanities electives. And those humanities may include things such as art, music, philosophy, religion. The social sciences electives, also six hours worth, may include things such as psychology, sociology, or geography. You have a foreign language requirement to take care of in this field. If you can place out of the first two course levels, your foreign language one and two, then you can go on to three and four and take care of your eight hours. If you take the placement exam for foreign language, whether it's Spanish, French, German, or any other foreign language, and you don't place out, then you need to plan for those extra courses. You'll also take a history one and two of your choice, and that could include American history, African American history, or Western civilization. The math course requirements can be the liberal arts course requirements for math, which uh, are not necessarily the ones that you might use in a, in a more scientific field. However, if you feel up to the challenge, you can take the math courses that are more useful in a scientific field. You will take a lab science requirement, and you can pick from biology, chemistry, geology, 
Health and physical education, you'll be required to take two hours. You can either take a classroom course, like nutrition, or a physical education course, yoga or weight training. Everyone in this field must take public speaking. It is a three-hour course. And finally, general electives. You'll be asked to complete six hours, and frequently that can be almost anything you wish. You might need to clear it with the dean of the division. Transferability is always a question, but I'd like to remind you that we are a state community college. Therefore, taking classes at Thomas Nelson Community College, you should be able to transfer to any other state college or university in Virginia with little to no pr trouble. However, students should work with the institution to which they plan to matriculate to ensure their choices fit the program of their choice at that institution. You'll want to make sure that you get assistance in looking at what you need to have taken to get into the program that you wish to do at, your, at the next school that you go to. Keep in mind that once you leave a four-year institution or have achieved your Bachelor of Arts degree or Bachelor of Science, that with this type of background, you'll be able to look for jobs in a variety of career fields, whether it's education, government, publishing, journalism, or other media, the performing arts, working in law or medicine or with nonprofit organizations. The basic courses that you take here at Thomas Nelson to achieve your Associate of Arts degree in liberal arts will help you on with your career. Once you finish your degree courses and achieve your Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts here at Thomas Nelson Community College, you will be able to go on to other places, finish hopefully a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science in a field that you're interested in, and find jobs in government, in education, in journalism or other media, perhaps in law or medicine, or with nonprofit organizations, the performing arts. But understand that an Associate of Arts and Liberal Arts prepares you for a wide variety of fields. We hope to see you here. Okay. Hi, I'm Julia Lisa Ray, the current department chair for the English Department uh, Division of Communications and Humanities at Thomas Nelson Community College. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Associate of Arts degree with a specialization. Oh, I got to start over. I messed it up. I'm sorry. Okay. Of arts degree in liberal arts with a specialization in blah, too many things. All right. Hi. Oh, I'll give you a second so you can cut it. Hi. I'm Julia Lisa Ray, the current department chair for the English department in the Division of Communications and Humanities at Thomas Nelson Community College. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Associate in Arts degree in Liberal Arts with a specialization in English education. I'm especially excited about this particular degree because I myself have an undergraduate degree in English education and secondary ed and a master's in teaching community college. So I'd like to recommend this, this type of degree to you highly. First of all, First of all, the Associate in Arts degree in Liberal Arts with a specialization in English education is designed specifically for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete a Bachelor of Science degree in English education in order to work in a middle school or a high school. It completes your general education requirements and gives you just a little bit of, I, of an idea of what it will be like to teach in those areas. Also, it seeks to develop in students an appreciation of many areas of knowledge and to lay the foundation for students to become lifelong learners. And trust me, if you get a degree in education and teach, you will be learning throughout your career, not only to keep up accreditation, but also to be able to keep in sync with your students. 
This degree also emphasizes communication, analytical, computational, and critical thinking skills, all things that are extremely important when working in education. In looking at the course requirements for this particular degree, it's important to note that all students entering Thomas Nelson Community College will be taking a placement exam and either place out of or take and pass pre-college reading, writing, and math requirements. If you don't place out of those courses and need to take them, keep in mind that they are not meant to slow you down, but indeed are meant to help you do better when you get into your college credit courses. Once you are ready for those credit level courses, either by placing out of the pre-college courses or by taking and passing them, you'll be required to complete 64 hours of courses meeting the following requirements. First of all, we ask everybody to take an orientation course and preferably the first semester of college. That orientation course will help you all the rest of the time that you're at Thomas Nelson and hopefully beyond. You'll also take two composition courses, Composition 1 and 2. Those two courses will help you in your writing assignments throughout your college career. Literature Surveys 1 and 2 and you'll be able to select from a variety of surveys. You could take American literature, African American literature, world literature, English literature, or women's literature. You'll be asked to take six hours of humanities electives, and you can choose from fields such as art, or music, or philosophy and religion. The social sciences electives We'll ask you to choose from courses like psychology. I highly suggest that if you're going to be teaching, as you'll have requirements for that later. Sociology and geography are also possibilities. You will need to meet foreign language requirements. When you come into the school, you can take a placement exam to see if courses you've already had in a foreign language will place you at uh, foreign language course level three and then you can take levels three and four. If not, you may need to plan for the first year in a language. You will also take two history courses, choosing from courses such as world civilization, Western civilization, American history, African American history. You might, in taking your math courses, take the courses designed specifically for the liberal arts, which uh, may be a little bit easier for some of us to take than the science heavy courses. You'll have lab science requirements and you can pick from things such as biology, chemistry, or geology. You'll take a health or physical education course. You can take a class course like nutrition, perhaps, or you could choose to do a physical education requirement instead and take yoga or weight training. Everyone will be required to take a public speaking class, which will definitely help you in the classroom later on. Most importantly, you will be taking Introduction to Teaching as a Profession, a three-hour course which does exactly what the title says. Finally, you'll have three hours of general electives, which means in, that you can take a course outside of the rest of these requirements of your own interest. Transferability is an important question when it comes to uh, your two-year degree. And I want to point out that Thomas Nelson Community College is a state community college. Therefore, we have agreements with many of the local universities and colleges that will help you in your transferring. However, it is always a good idea for students to work with the institution to which they plan to matriculate to ensure that their courses fit the program of their choice at the institution. For instance, in choosing your social sciences elective, you may want to talk to the institution you plan to go to to see if they have a preference for what type of for, uh, psychology course you might want to take. Students can get assistance from Tanya Burton at our transfer center in Griffin Hall. While you're at Thomas Nelson working on your Associate of Arts with 
and liberal arts with a specialization in English education. I hope that you will get a sense of how much the instructors here enjoy teaching and that that in turn inspires you in your own career becoming an educator yourself. Okay. All right. Alicia, you should remember that. Hello. Okay, hold on for a second. Hello. Salam alaikum. Hello. Bonjour. Hola. Welcome. I teach Spanish and my name is Alicia La Carmen Lowry. See? All right. Mm. Okay, here we go. Hello. Salam alaikum. Hello, bonjour, hola. <laughs> I get this right. Concentrate, Alicia. Okay. Salam alaikum. That's the one I need to remember. All right. Ready. All right. Hello. Salam alaikum. Hello. Bonjour. Hola. Welcome. I teach Spanish and my name is Alicia Lowery. Did that come all right? Yeah, if you want to do it again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hello, salam alaikum. Hello, bonjour, hola, welcome. I teach Spanish and my name is Alicia Carmen Lowery. The Communications Humanities and Social Sciences Division at Thomas Nelson Community College offers in the Foreign Languages Department two liberal arts associate of arts degrees with specializations in foreign languages and international studies. The foreign languages department consists of three full-time faculty and 10 adjunct faculty with extensive experience in the teaching of foreign languages. The foreign languages faculty possess a professional and enthusiastic ability to share their knowledge of Arabic, French, German, English as a second language, and Spanish. A highlight of the Foreign Languages Department is the state-of-the-art language learning centers located in both campuses, Hampton and the Historic Triangle in Williamsburg. They are expertly directed and maintained by Mr. Jason Vance. The following presentation gives you an overview of these liberal arts associate of arts degrees. Thomas Nelson's mission statement includes that we are a global community. In response to the mission statement, a group of faculty members has worked on internationalizing the curriculum at the college. 
we have developed a study abroad program to give students first-hand international experience through academically rigorous courses offering transferable credit. The degrees offer Associate of Arts degree in Liberal Arts, Associate of Arts degree in Liberal Arts with specialization in English education, specialization in foreign languages, and specialization in international studies. The Liberal Arts degree consists of and is designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree, seeks to develop in students an appreciation of many areas of knowledge and to lay the foundation for students to become lifelong learners, emphasizes communication, analytical, computational, and critical thinking skills, provides versatility for students in a global job market, graduates become teachers, librarians, journalists, foreign service officers, doctors, and lawyers, among many other professions. It's also designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete, complete a BA degree in, oh, should I stop? Oh, T, I am not a good person here. I could start. Um, all right. So you can stop in there. Oh, well, you can edit that. Okay. The liberal arts AA degree with specialization in foreign languages, designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year college or university to complete a bachelor of arts degree in a specific language and literature, a combination of two or more languages and literatures, a related area studies program, an interdisciplinary studies program, a combination of modern languages with humanities and or social sciences, seeks to develop in students an awareness and appreciation of other cultures, prepares students for employment in a global society. Students may choose a second foreign language or other global electives. These are the requirements for the specialization in foreign languages. Also included in the requirements uh, are global electives. For that, you need six credits and a general elective of your choosing, and that would be three, totaling 64 credits. Foreign languages offered at Thomas Nelson are Arabic, English as a second language, French, German, Spanish. We have received requests for other languages that we might be able to offer, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Hindi, Farsi, and other. The placement policy at Thomas Nelson Community College. The correct placement is essential to student success in a language course, WebCAPE, is a computerized placement test for Spanish, French, and German. Any student whose curriculum requires a foreign language and or who wants to take Spanish, French, and or German and has had one year or more of high school Spanish must take the WebCAPE placement exam. The very beginning. Placement policy at Thomas Nelson Community College. Cor correct placement is essential to student success in a language course. WebCAPE is a computerized placement test for Spanish, French, and German. Any student whose curriculum requires a foreign language and or who wants to take Spanish, French, and or German and has had one year or more of high school Spanish must take the WebCAPE placement test. Any student who has had one year or more of high school Arabic is referred to the foreign language department for placement. Advantages in knowing another language. 
students have an advantage if they enter college having studied one or more foreign languages. Knowledge of another. Advantages in knowing another language. Students have an advantage if they enter college having studied one or more foreign languages. Knowledge of other languages is important for students who plan to work in many different fields. Many opportunities exist for students with foreign language skills, especially when combined with expertise in another field. Ten reasons to learn a foreign language. To increase global understanding, to improve employment potential, to increase native language ability, to sharpen cognitive and life skills, to improve chances of entry into college or graduate school, to appreciate international literature, music, and film, to make travel more feasible and enjoyable, to expand study abroad options, to increase understanding of oneself and one's own culture, to make lifelong friends. Careers for foreign language majors. The following are examples of fields in which a language major will give you an edge in a competitive job market. Business, communications, education, engineering, entertainment, government services, humanities and arts, international law, publishing, sciences, technology, travel services. All else being equal, knowing languages gives you an advantage over monolingual applicants competing for the same jobs, as well as the ability to command a greater salary in the workplace. Liberal Arts AA degree with specialization in international studies. Designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year institution to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree in international studies or modern foreign languages. Liberal Arts AA degree with specialization in international studies. Designed for students who plan to transfer to a four-year institution to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree in international studies or modern foreign languages. Students choose global electives to enhance their understanding of other cultures and countries. Possible career opportunities include business, education, foreign service, and government. General education courses for AA degree specialization in international studies cover the following courses and number of credits. Altogether, the total major and other courses, uh, nine, and a total minimum credits would be 64. Please note the global electives, you need six credits for that. Careers for international studies majors. The following are examples of fields in which a language major will give you an edge in a competitive job market. Business, communications, editing, publishing, education, foreign service, government, interpretation, translation, journalism, news media, law, library services, performing arts, politics, public relations, sales, marketing, volunteer organizations. All else being equal, knowing languages gives you an advantage over monolingual applicants competing for the same jobs, as well as the ability to command a greater salary in the workplace. Facts and statistics. According to a 2001 ACE study, 48% of college-bound students expect to study abroad, but only 2% make it a reality. This same study stated that 57% plan to study a foreign language, but only 10% actually do. America is the only country that refers to global business as international business, 
All other countries just call it business. 25% of the human population is in two countries, India and China. Over the next 15 years, globalization will take on a much less Western phase. We will see the Asianization of globalization. Interest in study abroad has grown exponentially since 9-11. Study abroad program. During the spring break of 2007, TNCC initiated its study abroad program with a trip to Costa Rica. This, for credit program, has a communities of learning format. TNCC offered the following three courses to prepare for the study abroad trip covering the topics in Costa Rican culture, language, and ecology. The three courses were biology, humanities, and Spanish. For biology, a consideration of the diversity and ecology of rainforest and marine organisms examines the philosophy of conservation as it relates to Costa Rican ecosystems and culture. This course was called Bio 295. Humanities studies culture, politics, religion, literature, and the ethics of ecology unique to Costa Rica. The course was called Home Humanities 295. Spanish introduces the basics of basics of I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. uh, do you want me from the beginning? From the beginning? Yeah. Study abroad program. During the spring break of 2007, TNCC initiated its study abroad program with a trip to Costa Rica. This four credit program has a communities of learning format. TNCC offered the following three courses to prepare for the study abroad trip covering the topics in Costa Rican culture, language, and ecology. The courses were biology, humanities, Spanish. Biology, a consideration of the diversity and ecology of rainforest and marine organisms, examines the philosophy of conservation as it relates to Costa Rican ecosystems and culture. The course was called Bio 295. Humanities studies culture, politics, religion, literature, and the ethics of ecology unique to Costa Rica. The course was called Humanities 295. Spanish introduces the basics of spoken Spanish together with a study of Costa Rican moors and customs to students with no prior instruction in the language, examines the relationships among language, literature, and culture. Spanish 295. TNCC is planning to offer more study abroad programs. This general overview of the two liberal arts associate of arts degrees with specializations in foreign languages and international studies is to be followed by in-depth information when you come to visit the foreign languages department online or in person at Thomas Nelson Community College. We look forward to meeting and assisting you. Explore, excel, and succeed. Thank you.